Well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now, in the forge, we have a about two and a half, three inch piece of eight millimeter rebar. What we're going to make is a, a little present for Valentine's Day and anniversary. Um, the reason for this is because very soon it's going to be mine and my girlfriend's first year anniversary, so I'm going to make her a necklace present. So, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. And the first thing you're going to do is we're just going to start isolating the metal. Isolate the whole piece down to the same sort of um, diameter, roughly, and then um, we can start making the necklace. centimeters Spot, so I can now heat it up, get a pair of pliers, keep bending it backwards and forwards and then it should break off. Bend it back and forth, back and forth. there you go. It'll just break off nice and easy. So I'm going to set one to the side for now. Now I'm just going to use this one. Taper on each end, a small taper on each end, because um, what we're going to be making is a set pair of hearts. So your hearts that interlude with each other. So I'm just going to taper this down. Okay. We can do the same with the other sides. You've got to be careful when you've got something very small like this. You've got a very hot forge. Very easy to burn the metal. It's a loose metal, it's very good. Always want to keep an eye on when you've got something nice and small like this. Always want to keep an eye on it. Make sure you're not burning the metal. Right, so there you go, we've got the taper, both ends. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use scrolling tools, to, to, um, scrolling pliers mostly for this. Uh, where are they? 
these are the skull and pliers, they've just got like a needle nose jewel. Best little needle is the help scroll basically, that's easy. You can use these to do most of all the bending and the fine tuning. First, I am going to create a divot halfway. So this should be about should be about eight centimetres, if that, it's about nine and a half because I tapered it down which made it longer. So we're going to go for about four and a half centimetres and that'll be roughly around the middle. Then we can bend it round and then um, do the half. Right, so this out there. Put a little divot in it. And now bend it round. And it will bend at that weak point. Okay. Close that up. Another heat. form that taper down on this end to a nice pointy taper. I've ended up with more metal on one side than the other. That's fine, I only want them to be small, so if that happens then you can just cut a bit of the end off. So you're going to heat it up, cut a little bit of this end off, one's longer than the other and then they should be around the same length and then they can make the heart. Now I can, I can use the scrolling tongue, ply sorry, and I can start scrolling these bits round to the heart shape. This is only a basic heart shape. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finally close these bits up. Now we're going to do the other one. We're going to make the heart pretty much hopefully the same. <laughs> and then I'm going to interlock it with the other one. So we've got the taper on that, down at the end, so now we can use the scrolling pliers and open it up, twiddle it around, make it look lovely. There you go, so we're just going to heat it up again, straighten everything out. So, we've got two pieces here. They're into, or they're linked up. We've got some leather thonging, which we can put through here. We can even, if we really wanted to, do some sort of weird thing and loop them through both, a bit like that. I think I might just do one with the other one hanging down. I quite like that. Um, knot it up. It should look lovely. Right. So, just got into the house and I remember we bought three hundred thousand million yards of black leather thonging. So I'm going to, we don't have any scissors, but ah, there you go. If you want to go see the 100 subscriber video where I made this kukri, uh, click in the top corner, if I remember. If I don't, then I have to scroll through my channel for hours and hours trying to find the video. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the appropriate, roughly appropriate, amount of leather thonging to go around someone's neck. There you go. And for when I make necklaces, I like to get both of them and just tie a normal knot. There you go. 
nice little little necklace there. Yes, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment what you liked, what you didn't like, and things I could do better. Projects that um, you would like me to take on. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And I hopefully catch you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.